honorable members, compatriots, fellow Ghanaians, we should not take this achievement for granted. The team for the 30th anniversary celebration is 30 years of parliamentary democracy in the Fourth Republic. The journey thus far. We have set up a planning committee chaired by our distinguished member of parliament for Abuakwa Saf, Honorable Samuel Atachia, to help us navigate through the celebrations. The activities of the committee will be coordinated by the clerk to parliament, Mrs. Sril Kwabna Oteng Insia. I want to urge all of you to reflect on the team as the program of activities for the celebration unfolds. I am confident that we will participate fully in all the activities, and I expect to see all of you participate fully in all the activities. The year-long celebration will zone the country into six, six regions, not the 16 regions. And programs will be planned to suit the peculiarities of each of the six zones. There will be such regional activities as public forums, mock parliaments, football matches, and health walks. At the national level, there will again be public forums and football matches, as well as lectures. There will be a documentary on the history of parliament in Ghana. Not only the Fourth Republic. We want to take you backwards to know that some of the things we are doing today were done before. We are not reinventing the wheel. We will also organize award ceremonies for those who have made significant contributions to Ghana's 30 years of parliamentary democracy in the Fourth Republic. And definitely, being a spiritual nation, we have planned a prayer and thanksgiving service. A few legacy products or projects have also been planned, such as cutting the sword for the building of what we are describing as democracy house. We need to inculcate the culture of democracy. And these are some of the physical structures that will keep on reminding everybody of the value of democracy. We intend to construct a bus to depict African democracy. The ceremonial gate of parliament will also be reconstructed. Parliament is working on a funding model that will rely on its strategic partnerships to deliver this legacy project, not public money. We will not depend on government because we know how we are all struggling to keep things going. Thank you.